Hey guys, just a little update on uh, <coughs> the, the court guitar. <coughs> Go under the weather right now. A lot of rain last night. Downpoured. Come on soon, but we needed it. Uh, hope you guys had a good Fourth of July. Mine was, eh, it's all right. Uh, yeah. So this guitar. What a pain in the ass. So, whoever <clears throat> owned it, I don't know what they did, but the like, pickups didn't work on it. Uh, not even wired it normally. And I just wasn't getting anything out of it. So, uh,. And I had the neck, I had the action, the, the saddles all the way down to the bottom, and it just everything was buzzing out on it. Uh, just the truss rod on it, and that was a, a little funky because it wasn't working the way a truss rod should work on it. So I had my fret uh, gauge on it to straighten the neck out. So usually when you tighten up the truss rod, the neck should straighten out. That's the way it works on all my guitars. But the more I tightened it to try to straighten the neck, I just kept rocking on the fretboard so I was getting uh, instead of the neck being like this it was getting a bow hump on it so no the only way to straighten the neck was to loosen the truss rod and just turn it where the nut was all snug and the neck was straight usually if you go the other way you get a a bow in it but this was not working uh, and this neck also did what my other court did was that the neck was being pulled so I had to <coughs> remove the neck from the guitar uh, on this I had to heat it up and remove it <clears throat> my other one, you know, I set the neck and it came out it was pretty perfect. This one, before I even glued it, I was uh, trying to get the angle on it. So, I think I might have put a little too much of a shim in the neck. But, I mean, the glue was like dried up crystals, so, and then I had to drill holes, I still got to touch it up, so I had to drill holes there to get some heat in there, but, you know, then I just smoothed out the neck, because on these guitars it's just... When it's humid out, your hands just drag all along it. So I just took some scotch bright on that. Uh, then I just have to finish fixing, filling these in again. And sanding it to the best that I can do. But yeah, pickups didn't work. I, you know, wired it the way, uh, the standard guitar wiring and nothing was coming out of it as you can see my saddles are high on this and there's a slight bow I don't even know if you can see that in it but if I straighten if I tighten the truss rod I just get a the hump in the middle of it 
which is kind of weird. Uh, so maybe Sony did something to it that uh, it's Sony work on it that uh, pretty much fucked it up. But me, yeah, the neck was off, glued it, clamped it, let it sit. <clears throat> uh, yeah, even the frets. It looks like there was a fret job on it because the frets are giving me a a hard time too. So I might have to remove some frets on this to get it good. But I'm not going to do a fret job on it until I get a uh, when I get a handheld uh, fret press that I could use which would make it easier, so I'm not even going to attempt to do that. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure the neck is straight. Um, worst case scenario, I just heat it up again and remove the neck on it, which will probably be easier the second time around. Yeah, so I removed the guts from it. I got a new wiring harness coming for it. Uh, got the new toggle switch. The 9 volt battery hookup wasn't working, and there was just too much wiring to do. Even though I have another guitar that I could look at, but it's just so in depth that uh, you lose your mind trying to figure it out. So we got the new wiring harness coming. We got new uh, pickups, hex buckup, the hex bucker pickups. Those are the same ones that I put in my my guitar, my other one like this. It's got the coil tapping wires. So I figure I took the, the LED light out. I'll put a, I got a switch there ready. I got a switch here. I'll just make these uh, coil tapping switches. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, the action's pretty decent right now. So, like I said, saddles are up high. Originally, they were touching the bottom of it, and my action was on the strings was ridiculous. You couldn't move way up there. So, I'm going to assume that these guitars aren't, uh, I mean, it looks like it's three ply wood on these things so I mean they were expensive at the time so I gotta I'm probably dumping in 30 40 bucks into it into the guitar but I'm not gonna replace the tunies I'm not gonna replace the bridge I mean I did replace uh, the strap buttons on it and obviously the the bridge, I mean the nut saddle, I'll keep everything, the switch was no good obviously it fell apart, and I'll just make this a coil tapping switch for the neck and bridge, and so that would look like that, minus the light, I'll keep that, I had to take out the other output jack because it was a little funky looking so all in all 
when I get my fret press handheld. Um, maybe I'll just do a refret on it. But the truss rod situation is kind of weird on it. So, like I said, the only way to straighten the neck is to loosen the truss rod nut. Pretty much nothing on there. And you get a slight, I have a little bit more than what I want on the bow. But maybe I'll just play with it and let Mother Nature uh, take its course on the wood part until it uh, settles in better with the tension on the strings because who knows how long there was no strings on this guitar. I'm just thinking that uh, they were so humped up that, you know, maybe they were making a, a lap guitar. Maybe that's why there was uh, another button there on top of it. And that's it. I'll just clean it up a little bit more, touch it up, but then, uh, be good to go. And if I have to remove the neck again, you know, I'll remove the neck. It's not a big deal. I didn't put any uh, bondo or anything on it. Use nail polish to fill it in. And just a couple more. I mean, it's not great on the side. But I just got to get those two holes plugged in. I should have used dowels, but really didn't feel like going up lows at the time. No, fix that. And then that'll be it. So, that's why I hate the uh, set necks because they're a headache. Bolt on necks, you just take off. If you have to replace it, you just throw another neck on it. Not a big deal at all. Set necks. Yeah, it's a whole nother uh, process on that. So, if I ever get another court, it would definitely be a bolt-on neck and not a set neck because I have the, even the paint job isn't good. You can see a run from the manufacturer. I don't even know if you can see that. But right there. It's like a run, like a, when he painted the guitar, it was running. And now you can see it. So, these guitars, even though they might look good, and when they're brand new, they sound really good. But, after decades, they definitely do not hold up over time that's for sure everything dries out unless you take care of them you know but I mean I took care of mine and all the electronics work I mean the, the pickups did die over the course of time which was kind of weird but it's what 84 so you know it's a long time and the pickups just they just wind up dying out. Bizarre as it may sound, but I guess it does happen. The magnet magnets just lose its uh, its mojo. But the preamp and everything else, the battery, that all that all works. I, I don't touch it because it's become, once you start messing around in there, that's it's a whole other ball game. But this one would have been nice to have it the original electronics in it but you know but you can't help pickups if when they don't work and uh, electronics I mean the battery I mean just was exploded in there into the electronics it just yeah it was just battery acid everywhere and who knows how long I should have looked at the date on the battery that was in there that would have told me how long the battery was in there theoretically but even when the guy handed it to me it was just like I don't know damp condensation wherever it was I mean the strings not being on on the guitar for probably who knows how many years that the neck just did what it wanted it you know to do 
you know that I got tension on it now it's you know now I gotta play with the neck fight it <clears throat> but yeah but the truss rod's not working the way it should bizarre I mean unless somebody has any input on that but yeah tightening it should straighten the neck and loosening it you should be getting the bow in it this is the other way around you tighten it and it doesn't go straight you get an arch and then the fret uh, uh, there goes a well, I can't think of the name of it now when the, the straight neck fret marker just wobbles and then when I loosen it all the way it straightens out and it's good to go so kind of weird but all in all it'll be up and running just will just be a uh, upgraded with new pickups new hardware new harness and let's and then down the road I'll refret it because it looks like Sony did something to the frets because some of them are long some of them are just a little short and my guitar is not like that at all and they're a little wavy on some of them so that would be it's like a winter project not a summer project so I'll install the pickups and then do a video and see how it sounds alright peace out <clears throat> thanks for watching and uh have a great night.